All right, hello everybody and welcome. I'm Armored Citizen and today I wanted to talk about these guys. These are the Thrustmaster T16000 um, and I'm currently using two of them. One set up for right and one set up for left hand. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how I uh, how I set these up. There's a lot of tutorials out there but uh, I just kind of wanted to show you how I did mine. So first off this is it, the uh, Thrustmaster T16000M. They're about uh, 50 bucks. You can find them at Fry's, um, or you can order them online and a number of other stores. I got two of these at Fry's, um, but yeah. Anyway, they're they're decent. You know, they feel really plasticky. The buttons are kind of flimsy and all that, uh, but you know, they're not pro uh, professional tools, so. Um, but yeah, they still feel good. They, you know, they uh, they don't wiggle too much. They wiggle a little bit. The bases are a little loose for one. Um, you can switch it so that this is uh, a left-handed, and this is, you know, you can keep this one right-handed. So that's really nice to do. Um, I set mine up. Uh, the little white pieces are just labels. They didn't come with those. They have a nice little slider on the back. Um, I don't want to use it right now because it will actually. Uh, control the plane still even when you're tabbed out so that's something cool to know so anyway let's take a look at how I set mine up real quick so I set it up so that the rotation of the right stick is your roll then I have the um, pitch access like thus then the other look axis so the yaw axis is moving this right stick side to side. On here I have my target select. Uh, I have this is all enemy target for me. So this little switch up here it's a four way switch. So I can um, push up to get the one that's in my reticle and then I can push um, down to do nearest and left and right will scroll through my targets. Uh, okay then I put um, missile lock right here missile fire right here and to be totally honest I can't remember what I did there but mostly you're looking at the controls so again you have roll pitch yaw that's pretty much all you need to know then over here on my left stick I have the um, the various strafes so I have a forward strafe and back strafe going on there and then my side to side are the various side strafes so that's all I don't have anything assigned to the rotation I'm sure you could come up with something um, you know perhaps bumping your look or whatever um, then I have a rear view camera which is this button right here I have uh, my up and down strafe pushing this up will go up pushing this down will go down that's the best I can figure right now you could also use these two buttons for that then pushing right on this will switch flares and this button will fire flares celebration um, then I have my thrust or my boost is on the uh, the main button here and double tap will do my afterburner. Then both of these I have weapon set one and weapon set two. So that's pretty much it. Um, on mine I have uh, some other, you know, I have my flight modes, IFC, uh, ESP, target landing, landing mode, auto, uh, which is automatic landing my lights, uh, cycle target, oh I put friendly target over here on my right stick because I'm never in a hurry to get to friendly target. Originally I had my countermeasures set over on this side over here and I would just never fire them so I'd never get to them in time. So I switched that. I have my two quantums over here. Um, now I'll note that you can't really use this well in um, let's 
Sorry, you can't really use this very well when you're first... Well, actually, you can't use it at all when you're on foot. It just won't work. But, um... I've just... I love the twist for the roll. I was really skeptical. I, have, I have first assigned my roll over here, where it's now a strafe. Um, but this is just awesome. I'd never have it another way now. Another big thing is you're going to want to fly in coupled mode, which is kind of a pain right now because it'll switch you out of coupled mode. Uh, or it'll, sorry, you'll want to, you want to fly out of coupled mode, so in decoupled mode, um, because the compensation works really weird, and so when you, your natural instinct, for instance, is to slow until you stop and then let off your, your control there. Shot. Oh, this, let's see, what did they do? Oh, this isn't review camera, I'm sorry, I've switched this to brake, so this is my handbrake right here. Um, and I, I switched that over as soon as I started using decoupled mode because I get myself in, in trouble with decoupled mode quite a bit but you can do some pretty amazing things with this so I'd highly recommend it great sticks if you're on a budget especially um, yeah I can't say anything bad about them at all these are the Thrustmaster versions. I've heard the uh, the 3D Logitech 3D ones are pretty good too, but they had seemed like they had fewer buttons to me. So anyway, I'm Armored Citizen. I wanted to keep that quick. Uh, people, a couple of people were asking. Here's my desk in action. Here you can see uh, what I built these things to sit on. You'll definitely want that. I velcroed these to the table. So anyway, yeah. Hope you like them. Um, if you have any questions as to my setup, I have a little slider here too. I put the uh, the throttle on, but that doesn't matter in decoupled mode. So remember, you have to go out of decoupled mode to go into cruise for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, that's it. Ask questions if you want. I'll try to post response videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped. Um, I'll finish up here by going through and showing you the actual settings as I have them because I have a couple extra ones in there. So, and this will show you where you can uh, change those two. Here, let me make this a little bit bigger here. All oh, right. So you go into this menu and you select over to joystick slash HOTUS. Um, and yeah, so this is how I have it. And just stop for a second on each one. Yours may be the reverse of it. It depends on which order you plug your two joysticks in so keep that in mind if if you're not getting input two if you're getting input one that can be okay Now, a good thing to note here is that you have to program in decoupled modes as well. Decoupled has its own set of uh, strafe and forward and back and everything.
I'm going too fast. Don't forget, you can pause the video. I'm kind of trying to fly through these. Assigned anything for power yet? It may eventually. I also should mention I play with the keyboard in my lap, so I can use the whole keyboard too. And the on foot controls, as I said, aren't really on foot controls. They're just spectator camera stuff for some reason. So hopefully they fix that. Alright, anyway, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I am Armored Citizen and uh, Make sure and tune in to my next live broadcast, which will be Sunday, that's tomorrow, if you're watching it today, um, at 1 p.m., and I'll finish up at 4 p.m. So, take care, everybody.